Welcome back to Upfront and our look ahead to the 2018 election cycle in Wisconsin. We're talking with a panel of political reporters, Jesse O'Point of the Capital Times, Kent Wayne Scott of WISN 12 News, and J.R. Ross of WISPolitics.com. Let's talk about the race for U.S. Senate now. Democratic incumbent Tammy Baldwin is seeking a second term, and at least two Republicans, at least two, will battle it out in the primary. State Senator Leah Vukmir and Delafield businessman Kevin Nicholson. Jesse, I say at least two. At least There's two. still speculation about the future of Eric Hovde, who finished second in the Republican primary back in the 2012 Senate race. What do you hear about Hovde? I'm hearing it sounds it sounds like a maybe. It sounds like a maybe yes. Um, you know, the, the benefit that he has is deep pockets that he can wait it out and, and decide uh, at the last minute ish. You know, he can he can get in. He can self fund a little bit. Um, obviously, the other two campaigns that are already in existence have their billionaire backers of their own that uh, can compete with that. But he's got a little more control than, than they do at this point over over his destiny. Um, you know, the, the question is, how long can you wait to get in before you lose the opportunity to pick up staff? Um, a lot of his staff from his last campaign are already uh, and otherwise involved. Um, you know, the, a lot of them are involved with the Vukmir side of things. So um, certainly watching the two of them battle it out, though, I think he sees an opportunity to get in. Kent, uh, Jr. was talking earlier about Lane's right. Democrats. Yeah. Uh, that, this would be curious to see exactly. what Lane, Eric Hovde runs in as opposed to Nicholson and Bookmare. Right, because th those two, the two that are already in this Republican race, have very clear lanes yeah. uh, within the party. And, and Eric Hovde, yeah, that's a good question as to where he would fall. Uh, he, Leah Vukmir was a supporter of Eric Hovde's the last time he ran. He hasn't really been out there. He hasn't been in the spotlight since that last election in terms of, uh, you know, in, in the eyes of voters. And so he's got a lot of ground to make up, I think, uh, in that regard if he gets if he gets into the race. JR, how contentious is this primary likely to be? I, I think it's been fairly lively for mm -hmm. being so early in the process. And you even have outside groups calling Senator Vukmir a rhino, which mm -hmm. to me seems a little <laughs> odd, but but that's well, what's going on so we far. We talk about lanes. Um, the lane that Kevin Nixon wants to kind of grab is the outsider, you know, that he's this kind of new, fresh face, which also complicates Eric Hubde's formula because Eric Hubde wants to be the outsider, a businessman, not from politics. So if Nichols can really grab that lane, that might you know, alter Eric's uh, decision. But because he wants to be this outsider, he's got to find a way to attack Leah Vukmer as an insider. Well, in Wisconsin, we're kind of different. The grassroots has become the establishment of Wisconsin with the Republican Party. We've been through the fights over Act 10, the recall elections. We've gone through our kind of purification process with the GOP and the Democratic Party, too. So it's not like the grassroots and the establishment are separated. Like there's not like a, a race like another state or maybe like a, uh, Alabama where, you know, you had more as this kind of like Tea Party. The Tea Party is part of establishment. So that's why you're seeing like this nitpicking of Lee Vukmer's votes for Walker's state budgets. The Club for Growth is attacking those, saying she voted for more spending and, and tax hikes. She said, okay, if you're going to attack me for that, why was Kevin going to say that he opposed Governor Walker's budgets? You know, she's going to talk about she's arm in arm with Governor Walker and, and these Republicans. This reforms. is the hard part, though, about being a, in elected office. You have a voting record. Eric mm -hmm. Hovde does not have a voting record. Kevin Nicholson does not have a voting record. That makes it, that's hard. That's the challenge that Vukmer has to overcome. That's difficult, but, you know, I th it, despite having that record, I think she has also has a record of being a part of the more conservative right. uh, wing of the Republican Party. And I think it, people who, you know, have followed her votes and have followed her legislation would be able to see that pretty clearly. Let's talk about Tammy Baldwin for a moment, because mm -hmm. whoever advances in the Republican primary will face uh, Tammy Baldwin. Ken, what's the take on, on Baldwin's status? The, the, the conventional wisdom is that she might actually be better off in this election cycle because Donald Trump is in the White House instead of Hillary Clinton. would be a very different uh, it race. It would be a very different race. Does Hillary that help her, or, or is she still perceived as vulnerable because, as they said in 2012, she's just too darn liberal for the state of Wisconsin? Yeah, I don't know. She's the opposition party now yeah. as, as she goes into this race. I mean, I, a couple of years ago, people might have looked at this and said, oh, it's a midterm race. That certainly doesn't bode well for Tammy Ball. It's going to be a very tough challenge for her. It, it actually might work to her advantage now. She comes out, uh, she's, she's already come out swinging about the, the new tax bill that just passed. She's, uh, she's certainly got uh, a lot of, um, of the Trump messaging that she has been attacking early on. She's going to bring that into this race. So, yeah, I think I think it sets up a very, very different dynamic than uh, if things had had gone the other way. In the Jr. is this race. is this uh, when it, when it all comes down to it? I mean, are, are you really seeing two different visions for the Republican Party playing out here? You've got the 
the Steve Bannon vision, maybe. I mean, his PAC has endorsed uh, Kevin Nicholson. And then you've got what is more of these establishment wing, or is, it, or is that too simple uh, uh, a I view of I don't know it? if it's two visions. It's, it's, a, it's a contrast of somebody who's got a record and a relationship with the conservative base in Wisconsin and somebody coming in who's trying to earn one. Now, Nicholson's got a great background to run uh, as a candidate Republican, you know, war hero, military background. He also Except is a for that one little thing. <laughs> one little thing. <laughs> former chair of a National Democratic College, Dem College Democrats. What I've been told is that they know the ad is coming, whether it's going to be in May, yeah. June, July. There's an ad coming that will be work in the primary of Kevin Nicholson giving a speech at the Democratic National Convention talking about these great Democratic values. The question becomes, can he inoculate himself from that? The primary voters, because that ad won't work in September, October, against, if he's running as Tammy Baldwin. But in a primary, that's a very difficult thing to deal with. Any sense of who Baldwin would rather uh, face in this? Uh... Lee Bookmere. Rather face Leah Bookmere. Time for another break now. When we come back, we'll uh, talk about the state Supreme Court race. Interesting race, as our court races always are. And uh, especially about one candidate who's kind of breaking the mold on judicial races. Back in just a moment.